Hello everybody. I want to speak about the, f the concept that Hashem cares about every single person. You know, some pe a person, Hashem is not a person, and a person has, a lim has limitations to how much attention he can give different people and how much care and love and, and how much he can help each individual. But Hashem is not a person. Hashem is infinite. He's beyond and within. He is infinitely beyond us, but he, yet He is completely within us and connected to us. He's everything. So, you should never feel like you are just another person in this world who, uh, if I do this, I do that, whatever, who am I? There's six billion, eight billion people in this world. If I do a sin, or I do a mitzvah, I do a good deed, or I help someone, or I pray to God, and I connect to the Creator, Ah, it's just one person. Ah, it's not, you should never think that way because Hashem, it says Hashem loves everyone as if they are His only child. It says every Jew, Hashem loves every Jew as if He is their only child from an old age. And by the way, if you are not Jewish, you can also be a part of the redemption. You have an infinite mission, as I mentioned in every video. When a non-Jew, a Gentile, fulfills the seven laws of Noah and learns about them, there's so much literature, so much teachings, deep secret teachings, mystical teachings on the seven laws of Noah, that they also become part of that infinity and they are included within the redemption. They are, m m many rabbis have said they've seen, you know, they've heard that, that the Bnei Noach, the Noahides are right there, a part of Am Yisrael. It's just their mission was to be a Noahide. But they are a part of this redemption. And so, yeah, so every person, you should never feel as if though you are just another person. Because that's not true. Hashem is infinite. Hashem is perfect. Hashem doesn't make any mistakes. So if He created you, that means you are needed for this infinite creation. That this perfect world could not exist without you. The world could only be perfect with you. You being here. So you should never, rather than speaking in the negative, you should always appreciate and bind yourself, connect yourself, illuminate yourself with the fact that God loves you infinitely and at every moment He's waiting for, to connect to you. When we do a mitzvah, when we do a good deed, we should not be just doing the action simply because then we could, then there's that hiddenness. God, so to speak, is, is partially hidden because He wants us to have free will and He wants us to slowly discover Him and uncover Him and reveal Him. If He was to be completely revealed at every moment, it would be overwhelming and we wouldn't have free will. We'd be like angels. We would do good day things all day long. And Hashem doesn't want us it to be that easy for us, so to speak, that we just serve Him all day long as if it's our biggest, greatest pleasure. No, He wants us to have free will. He wants us to choose good over evil. When sometimes may, we may desire to do the wrong thing, that we choose the good thing to do, because that's Hashem's greatest pleasure. When, when we transform ev darkness into light, evil into good. So you have the potential. You have it within you. Today, make today that day. Turn it on in your mind. Turn on your soul. The soul is manifested also through your intellect. You have to always turn on your intellect to see to see God in every situation. How is God trying to connect to me in this situation? What is God trying to tell me? What does He want from me? How could I improve? How can I make this world a brighter place? You know, we could live in autopilot like animals, but we could also, but Hashem doesn't want that. He wants us to turn on our intellect, turn on our soul, connect to Him in every moment, and He will redeem us. He's there for us. He wants to connect to us. He's just waiting that we make that step to Him. He waits all day long for us. He answers all prayers. He hears all prayers. He loves every single one of us infinitely, as if we're his only child. So connect to your, to your creator, to your father, to your king, and make today the day that you turn the darkness into light. And I'm sure a lot of you are already doing so, so continue to do so. Have an amazing day. All the best.